Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. In the today's video, we'll talk about EEPROM. The name itself says about its feature. It is an electrically erasable, means you can erase the memory electrically programmable read-only memory. This is a non-volatile memory which can hold the data even during the power off condition. The main advantage of this EEPROM is its individual byte can be erased and can be programmed as well, which is not possible in other kind of memories like NOR flash. And one more advantage it has its erase and program cycle count is very high. Means you can erase or program this memory for almost 1 million times. While in the case of NOR flash memory, you can erase or program that for almost 10,000 times only. So basically, two major advantages it has. One is you can erase and program a single byte and this erase and program operation you can perform for almost 1 million times and these two features make this very unique as this is available in very small sizes like 500 kilobits 256 kilobits even it is available in 1 kilobits and 120 bits also. Since its size is very small, it is used mainly to store configurable parameters where the very small sizes of memory is required. Let's see its development now. In early 70s, we had erasable programmable read-only memory which can be erased with the help of UV lights and it could be programmed with a software. The main disadvantage is here is it cannot be electrically erased. And since it uses UV lights to erase it, it takes almost half an hour to one hour. And in this process, the entire chip will be erased. So it's not like you can erase a single byte with the help of this UV light. So these were the drawbacks of APROM, erasable programmable ROM. And to overcome this issue, further development were happened. And with that, electrically erase was possible, where it allows a single byte to be erased. Now let's see what were the further development happened. So to erase electrically, earlier a external supply were required of 20 to 22 volt, which will erase the memory. So the requirement of again two voltage sources were the bigger problem. So to overcome from this problem, extra circuitry were added to this EEPROM itself which were taking the single voltage supply and internally it generates higher voltage to perform the erase operation and this erase operation takes almost 5 milliseconds so within this 5 milliseconds you can either erase a single byte or you can erase a, a block of memory or you can erase the entire memory within this 5 milliseconds only. And if you see the cell level diagram of this, it will look like this. Here you can see it has two gates. One is for bit select and on this control gate, you will see a floating gate over here, which plays a very important role here. So what happens during the programming, when you set this gate voltage at let's say 10 volt and your substrate is ground. 
so in that state what happens the electrons starts moving from this n plus plus channel to this floating gate and these migrated electrons present in this floating gate stays here for very very long time means if you remove the power from this memory cell so even in that condition as well this floating gate will hold these electrons here itself so that's how these eproms holds the data even during the power off condition and one more feature here these electrons present in this floating gate will offer higher potential now compared to the previous condition when it was not programmed so once these eprom cells are programmed then it will offer higher barrier which ensures the same data it will hold when we program the other memory cells and if you see the difference of eprom memory cell and flash memory cell this eprom has two gates while this not flash memory has only one gate which makes eprom suitable for higher erase or program count as well as for very fast erase time so while this programming these nor flash memory the more number of electrons will be stored in this floating gate at this age which causes lesser number of program or erase count and to erase it we apply 10 volts to substrate while its gate is grounded so in this case the electrons present in this floating gate will be moved towards this substrate and that's how it can be erased and same applies to eprom as well and you can see here in case of eprom either you erase the pull chip or you perform block erase or sector erase so in all cases it will take only 5 milliseconds to erase it while in the case of nor flash memory it will take 450 milliseconds to almost 3 to 5 minutes and if you see the memory sizes available in the market these eproms are available from 64 bits to 512 kilobits since these eproms are comparatively much costlier as it uses a extra bit there in its every cell so these are available in small sizes and wherever we need a higher capacity of memory so there we use these nor flash products which are available in megabits so this was the quick intro about eprom thank you for watching this video